I don't want this, Luna, well, so if you're... Well, that's tough. I'm telling you. I don't want this or any other conversation with you. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not leaving, not till you hear me. Fine, fine. You are destroying Max. And how do you figure that, Luna? Because he is sick. He has an illness. Please. And, and you won't do anything. You won't do anything to help him get the help that he needs. In fact, you're doing everything you can to encourage him to do the things that are making him even sicker. And day by day, he's dying a little bit more because you don't even care. <laughs> Why don't you just lay it on a little thicker here, Luna? I'm not letting Max be anything but himself. And he's making his own choices oh. for himself. Oh, what kind of choices is he going to make for himself when you're filling his head with all that swill, Blair, about courting me? That's not letting him make choices. That's manipulating him, and he, that is tormenting he's him. He's an adult. Or have you forgotten you know, And I'm not filling his head with anything. You know what, if you loved him, you never would have done that to him. Never. Wait, are you even listening? You know, I, you know I, I look at you, and I see that you're not blind, and you're not stupid. Oh, thank so you, So I Linda. cannot figure out how you can't see for yourself that you're helping him oh, destroy please. his life and his sons. How can you sleep at night? How can you live with yourself? Hey, man, I just work here. I'm not moving in on anyone or anything. Although, for the record, you were the one who vacated the premises. Don't try to turn this around. This is not about me or about my addiction. You're right. It's not about your addiction. Not anymore, it's not. Now it's how you let somebody turn you against everybody who's ever loved you. Why is it every time you talk to me about my life, you make it sound like I have no say in what happens? Well, how about if I put it in terms you might understand? You've traded your life in for a deck of cards, or a spin of the wheel, or, or, or a roll of the dice, however you want to look at it, man. You've turned your life in for a marker that you've just given away to the jokers and the dealers. I didn't put my wife and my child on a marker. You saw an opening, and you moved in. You are the one who has thrown your life away. You understand me? You've done it all by yourself. No, 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 I take that back. You have had a little help from your friend Blair. I'll tell you how I live with myself. Just fine. Because I know Max is somewhere where he can be understood. Oh, is that right? Is that what you do for him? You yes. understand him? Yes, I do. And he loves it. Face it, Luna. Max came back. Back here to me. To me. Because we're exactly alike. Oh. <laughs> well, aren't you giving yourself a lot of credit there, Blair? You know, your problem, Luna, is that that you could never love Max for who he was, for the man that he wants to be. You know, I bet you're busy filling his head with that every chance you get, aren't you? <sighs> See, I don't have to do that, because you brought him enough grief, and he knows it. If he's sick, Luna, if he's sick, it's because you made him sick. In fact, you started this whole miserable thing. Oh, I did. How did I do that, Blair? Because he loved me. He loved me, and he was ready to move the earth and the heaven to be with me. But you come along, and we were going to be fine. Fine. But you, you come along, and you mess everything up for us. You do. You left him. You left him and married another man. We were working it out. We were going to work it out, I Luna. I can't what I'm hearing coming from your mouth. You are just as screwed up as he is, and you're twice as good at denying it. I don't want to hear another word from you. I've heard how you think things are, and I'm going to tell you how it really is. You know, I have tried. I have tried to understand and believe in your love for Max. Oh, you have, huh? Yeah, I have. And all the time I've known you, I have tried to treat you with respect and compassion, even when your life wasn't going so well. 
I even accepted help from you when Max needed to be flown here from North Carolina. He was dying, Luna. That is my point exactly, Blair. You know, I, I have tried. I have tried to accept you and not to judge you by your past. But the more I look at this, the more I see that just like gambling is Max's disease, Max is your disease. What are you talking about? The bottom line here is there is not enough inside you to sustain you. There is not enough of your soul to hold up the walls because you are hollow and you are empty and you need Max to feed on. You don't know anything about me, Luna. You don't know how I was raised, how I had to grow up. I had to fight for every scrap of food and love I got. And I am just as willing to fight now as I was then. Blair, there is nothing to fight for. Oh, 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 oh. yes, there he is. No, honey, you're wrong. There isn't nothing to fight for because it meant nothing. <laughs> You, fine, you, you, you just, you believe whatever you want to believe. I, get out. Get no. out. Get out, it Luna! Is truth. It is the truth because Max told me. He told me what happened between you two. It meant nothing to him, and I believe that's true because, because there is nothing to you. <laughs> what are you doing? This? Is this what she wanted to do? <laughs> Next, Oprah, when you want a divorce from your hairdresser. I'm shocked, Miss Goddess, Miss Moon, Miss Love Quilt. So is this the real you? Yeah. I hope that hurt you as much as it hurt me. Oh, believe me, it did. Good. Well, let's let the pain stop right there because you are killing Max. You keep telling me you love him, Blair. If you love him, I want you to prove it. I want you to help him crawl out of that terrible hole he's gotten himself into. Or are you just, are you just planning on you two dying down there together? Sweetwater? Yeah. Yeah, remember when we went horseback riding and I was I was on that uh, the mean old horse? Gretchen? Yeah. Gretchen, you do you think maybe she was so mean because she thought it was a dumb name for a horse? <laughs> yeah. You remember how she kept running for those low branches to try to knock me off when I feel behind a milk house? <laughs> you look like you need <laughs> trick riding. <laughs> yeah, well I learned real fast, didn't I? See? Oh, you make me so happy. You're the only one that always does that. So, what? What? What do you say? Go back to Sweetwater. I mean, 
When was your last day of school? Will you come with me?